All right, what we have here finally is the final setup for the PC build I have here. I have my 27 inch monitor, I have my brand new tower, and I have my brand new wireless keyboard and mouse. So the first thing I'm going to do is plug this in and fire everything up. So let's do that now. All right, now let's turn it on. Pretty cool. It is on though, and as you can see from the side view there, right there is the inner workings of this PC. It's got lights on the motherboard, case fan is on, LED light is on. Hold the delete button down to enter BIOS setup. All right, there we go. There's the BIOS. All right. Very cool. All right, what I did, what I did is I held the delete button down as I powered up the machine, and I brought up the BIOS, and that's uh, how you do it with this motherboard. All right, well, first thing we're gonna do is install Windows on this machine and then we're going to get all the drivers on there and uh, get everything tweaked. Windows 7 Ultimate. Put Windows in. Close her down. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we are going to exit the BIOS. And it should boot up Windows. There we go. Windows is loading files. This is exciting for me. All right, we're going to be installing Windows now, so I'm going to run through this process, and uh, you're probably familiar with it, but we're going to do this so you can see what it's like anyway. I've got my wireless mouse and wireless keyboard initiated here. Uh, I speak English, United States English, keyboard input is United States, and install now. As you can see, none of the drivers are in, obviously, because we're just putting Windows on for the first time. But we're going to start with Windows, and then we're going to add all the drivers in, and then we're going to start tweaking um, the machine, and at some point I'll be overclocking it. All right. Microsoft software license terms. Of course I will accept this. If I don't, I won't be able to use Windows, obviously. Which type of installation do you want? Upgrade? No. Custom? Advanced? Yes. Unallocated space? 1.5 terabytes. Fresh install of Windows on here. Okay. Set up Windows. Windows 7 Ultimate. I'm going to choose a username and name my PC here. So I'm going to do that now, and I'll see you on the other side. Set up Windows. Set a password for your account. Creating a password is a smart security precaution, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to set my password, and I'll see you on the other side. All right, now comes the time when we actually have to enter the product key. Fun, fun. I'll do that, and I'll see you at the next step. Next step, help protect your computer and improve Windows automatically. 
I'll use the recommended settings on this. Now I've just got to set my time zone. Windows is finalizing setup. Beautiful. Ah, let there be sound. There we go. We have a giant, giant icons, giant everything. All right, we're going to start installing drivers on the machine. And I think I'm going to start with just the motherboard drivers. And I'm just going to open up the disk drive. Crosshair, number four, formula motherboard drivers. I'm going to put that in. Run the setup assistant. Motherboard support CD. Now these are the drivers. On top it says ASUS install all or install. Install. <laughs> anyway, once you install all of them. The uh, drivers are the AMD chipset driver, the VIA audio driver. Sound Blaster X Phi, J Micron JMB 36X controller driver, Marvel Yukon Gigabit Ethernet driver, USB 3 driver, ASUS EPU, ASUS Turbo V EVO, and browser configuration utility. So um, we're just going to install all of them. Now the next screen that comes up here says please select your action. Install drivers and recommended tools automatically from install recommended. Customize or install the drivers only. I'm just going to do the recommended and initiate it. The uh, estimated time for this is going to be 16 minutes to install these drivers. Uh, the AMD chipset driver is the most important, um, and it's the top of the list. First driver installed, and the approximate remaining time is down to 12 minutes. Uh, two drivers down, seven to go. Third driver installed. On to the fourth one, seven minutes, 43 seconds remaining. Fourth driver installed, fifth driver being installed. Now this is an important driver because it's the Ethernet driver and that's why I haven't been able to get online with this machine yet. Alright, the Ethernet driver has been installed. We're on to the USB 3.0 driver. Alright, it says the installation is complete. system is now rebooting. Alright. Now we got a little bit better resolution on this thing. All right, let me type in my password. Now, one thing I do like is I love this new keyboard. Just to give you an update on it, the, the way the numbers and the letters punch, it's very soft but very firm. It's a, I don't know, I, I like it a lot. Two more drivers need to be installed. Getting a reboot. One last driver. And one thing I noticed, I have a new icon. It's called Games up here. Check that out once this last driver is uh, installed. Also, I have a, in this uh, lower right-hand corner, a turbo unlocker. And it shows the six cores on there. The installation is complete. Please restart your computer. Okay. Restart. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to remove this disk, put it to the side, and go to the next one. Next disk is actually going to be the VGA driver for the uh, graphics card, the Radeon graphics card. Let's put this in. All right. We're going to run the check ID program here. 
graphics card, driver, utility, user manual. Let's go to driver. And we're going to install this driver. <clears throat> Drivers are installing. Window popped up. It says, would you like to install this device software? I'm going to install it. Okay. Um, we're going to come back and uh, go to the utility. But first what we're going to do is we're going to restart the computer so that the changes take effect. All right, next thing we're going to do is bring up the utilities on this disk. And we're going to install the utility. Welcome to install Shield Wizard for Utility. So we're going to do a complete uh, installation on this. Still installing. All right, and we're going to restart the computer yet again. So let's do that. My GPU is running at 93 degrees Fahrenheit, 34 degrees Celsius. I'm going to move it over to the side here. There we go. Now it's down to 87 degrees. Good news, good news. All right, one last driver I'm going to look into is for the keyboard. This is the driver CD for the Logitech keyboard and mouse. And what it's going to enable me to do basically is use all these buttons, these media buttons and extra buttons on top um, so I can bring things up quicker. So. Of course, going to agree to it, go forward. Now it wants to install Logitech Yahoo Toolbar. No, thank you. Logitech Desktop Messenger. I don't want to install that. Okay, this is the crapware section of the installation. Optional software components. Logitech Desktop Manager. Do not want to enable this feature. Logitech Yahoo Toolbar, no thank you. And strangely enough, they're both selected, opted me into it, no thanks. Uh, let's see, let's continue. And this should not take too long. I hope. And we're going to install the drivers here. And then pretty much we'll have all the drivers set up. We'll have the, uh, the motherboard is all set, the uh, graphics card is all set, and this is just the uh, keyboard. Then I'm just going to load programs on here and mess around with it. Um, I'm, I'm anxious to try this turbo unlocker down here, see what that's all about. I know you can uh, overclock uh, some of the, the, uh, the cores in the processor, so that's cool. Um, you can actually overclock all of them if you go inside the machine. There's a button on the motherboard to overclock. And uh, there are other ways to do that. I'm going to delve into that as time goes on. And uh, tweak this machine. But all in all, I'm happy with all the work I put in, all the money I put into this machine. And uh, I'm going to do a little different setup here. I'm going to put this down below. But for purposes of, purposes of this video, I wanted everything in view so you could see what was going on here. Yeah, that pretty much does it. So if you like what you see, please subscribe. Please rate my videos and uh, comment. And I'll see you next time on my next video.